Hey everybody, just wanted to give you guys a six month, 15,000 mile update. A, uh, just a brief overview of what we've experienced with this vehicle so far with our 2024 Grand Highlander Hybrid. So, um, like I mentioned, we got this car in April this year. It's now a little past mid-October and we are sitting at about 14,700 miles. Uh, so far, the car has been great. Um, at just under 15,000 miles, the lifetime average so far as to what we've been getting as far as gas mileage goes is just under 33 miles a gallon, about 32.8. And that's with uh, majority highway driving, surprisingly, about 30% city and then the rest highway. Uh, we have done a couple road trips with this car uh, from Louisville to Maryland and then also Northeast Ohio. And uh, it's pretty much maintained 32 MPG throughout all of those. Um, so very pleased with that, especially for the size of the vehicle. Um, like you guys know, we did purchase this vehicle to have room for our three puppers. Here's the two girls. And a big doofy boy. I don't know why he jumped up front, but he must have thought I was leaving him. Anyways, so um, as far as like interior stuff, the seats, the soft X fake leather has held up great, even with the gray interior. Um, there has been some dye transfer from like dark colored jeans, but that's cleaned up super easily with. Um, leather conditioner and just normal cleaning products for for leather so other than that um, no issues with quality as far as like any interior trim pieces break in the outside is held up well against rock chips and um, really no complaints at all with this vehicle so far uh, if i had to say Anything that could be improved, obviously Toyota's interiors are kind of behind when it comes to being fancy, I guess. You look at some of the newer Mazdas and stuff, the interiors are a lot nicer. However, it's comfortable, the car ride rides really well, gets excellent fuel economy, uh, doesn't seem underpowered for its size, uh, even though it is the standard hybrid powertrain in this thing um we haven't gotten to test it in uh, snow or ice yet but uh this winter we'll have the chance to do that see how the uh all-wheel drive system works especially with the rear being strictly electric uh, aside from that just a couple things uh back in june michelle did get backed into uh, in a parking lot and rather than going through insurance and dealing with all that because the other party's insurance denied fault um, I replaced this taillight housing um, it got damaged it got cracked and broken there is a small dent here that we could probably get out with PDR and then um, eventually I will replace this reflect reflector uh, but that was the extent of the damage from that little incident. Otherwise, we're in pretty good shape. But anyways, I'll update further in another video um, down the road once we get some more miles on this thing. Thanks everybody, bye.